damage it then. Attacker can do well against Vox, but does gets kited for days. So Taka starts to fall off the later the game goes. So if they don't win this within the first 10 minutes, the, the game's going to go over to the red side. That's my prediction. There is my prediction. They've got to win it in 10 minutes. Yeah. Um, I, Unless it depends it's CPSOL. <laughs> it may well be CPSOL. Um, but uh, we, we'll, we'll find out as the game progresses. Um, I, I, I do agree with you in the sense that I don't think it was a very good draft for Arden there. It will be interesting to see how it plays out though, because obviously we did initially feel that the Gwen pick up the last game for Arden wasn't Too the greatest. Hey. <laughs> um, and they did manage to pull it off quite nicely. So they may have a little bit of a, a sort of a card up their sleeve um, as far as is concerned. We can see a kind of a bit of a strange jungle path being taken by Mins here. Um, it manages to take um, both the backs and then move straight onto the second renewal. Um, so he can get, uh, so he's able to get to those front minions and take them before the enemy team get to the shot. Um, Doing it all solo, really good, interesting path, and it's going to allow him to get a full jungle clear with the uh, with Lyra staying in lane, doing that hard push with Saw, um, and then go back and take that first renewal uh, to make sure he stays healthy. So we can see that that first turret now for the red team is already has a third of its health gone from that hard push from Lyra and Saw. What they should have done is put Adagio and Vox in the jungle because Vox can handle Taka a lot better in the early game and Adagio just messes up Saw and doesn't let him push but Saw messes up Vox so um, it's a good draft when they pick the Vox like Taka Saw really good draft really good draft but they, they forgot the, the Fortress and Adagio factor so yeah. if they put Adagio in the lane this would just be they would destroy their own like, they wouldn't be able to do anything with it now we got Catherine who's just Saw is just going to pierce through her shield so it's, it's going to be it's going to be really tough for the start of the game on the red side. But if they persevere and they just try and make it through and just try not to like give any too much away and really just play a game that I hate passing called the passive game where they just like try not to fight at all, they could win. They could they could easily win this as long as they don't get snowballed. Yeah, I mean the the Tucker's just been in the jungle farming away on his own, getting all that stuff. Um, we do see Antonio dealing a lot of damage on that Adagio right now, but he is in a real, bit of a um, dodgy position, but he's going to just walk away. Uh, we do see down the Tucker being brazen, going straight into the uh, the enemy jungle there, but there's nothing for him to take right now. Antonio is stalking him in the bush. As we see, the back trying to be taken now by means. He's going to manage to take one at least. There's the gift, and oh, there's going to be a tray going up. There's a lot of attacks coming out now on Mings. Mings trying to bide his time until they are up, uh, and he is just going to walk away. Antonio, I don't know why he didn't pursue that bit, man. Because he thought he was just going to run away, but then he remembered that his medic is going to come up and he runs soon, so he has to be safe. Uh, and there you go. That's my jungle star, but now Mings is just going to be a legend and just go back and take the other medic. <laughs> <laughs> I was just going to say, Mings is playing so um, brazenly, just so aggressive right now, just running into their jungle and taking whatever he wants. So that's why Dadju should have been in the lane, just to stop that turret approach, and the turret has been taken. They can't allow this yeah. snowball. Oh, the heal did not work on Hein, and they are really trying to split this focus. But Hein is stunner stepping like an absolute champion right now. Oh, and uh, and so pick up the heal with the suppressed fire. That could be too dark. Like, it actually might be able to pull this one a little bit better than Vox could, but only because he can really outrange uh, Saw if he plays it right. If he doesn't stand inside Saw's range, it's, it's like a tiny amount of range difference, so he's got to be really careful with it. Yeah, we were initially confused about these, uh, about about this, this, this kind of, this, um, this pick up, you know, the, the, this team comps, but we're suddenly seeing why Arden have done it. And you said they needed to finish within the first 10 minutes, and you need to get that aggressive element in the first 10 minutes. And they are definitely trying to do that with that aggressive push comp. Um, we see that the second turret is already on the third health down um, at this point in the game, and that's at four minutes. So we haven't even seen Fountains able to come out at this point in time. We've already got a turret and um, a push. As well as that one kill for Arden right now, it's just going to mean that they're they are looking for that snowball that gold um that initial gold lead and just making sure that this hein is in such a bad position but he is just going to run away right now. yeah he's going to roadie run away so yeah. that's why i can't okay. get him out with the attacker hoping to pick up the kill on the adagio i they could have done with that too much too much pressure there this day again like i said they just need not to fight just like try not to be aggressive just be patient just wait for it don't go on to saw when he's fully spun up and then you should be okay but um there's just not following every rule you need to do with this early game pressure. So I'm going to teach the, teach the stream. This is like a don't do that, essentially, a uh, guide to how you take on a sword. Don't jump into when he's fully stacked, get an Adagio, slowly poke him away. There's a fantastic press fire coming out, and they're going to try and get Fox at this stage. They might actually get her. 
There's a nice heal coming out from Antonio, but then Lyra, and he stayed in the fight too long. That's pretty fun up saw. Didn't get away in time. He has a ton of damage, but he, even he doesn't have that much. And official Hind using his stacks really well to keep them fully stacked so he can just delete Adagio that fast. Yeah, I mean, the reason that push comp Lyra and Saw so very well is just that obviously uh, Saw has that massive insane potential to just stand and deal damage. And with that Lyra, he can stay in that fight a lot better, a lot more um, quick. And it doesn't mean, it means he doesn't have to go back to base early in, like, or in any way or form. He can just keep pushing, keep driving forwards and stay healthy. Uh, and it also means that when you're trying to duel him, uh, you're just you're always going to lose because he's always going to have that heal to rely on. Um, and if you've got you know trust in your teammates to keep you safe and to, to you know to peel and to make sure you stay healthy, it just it just gives him that level of confidence that means that when they are in those team fights, he will just stand there and he will just win those duels. Meanwhile, we see a team fight breaking out. Fox is low, is just about going to get away. Tucker now in an awkward position, but Saw is there now. Antonio is going to take a lot of damage coming out. Saw does pick up that kill as well, and we see a double kill coming out. Saw taking a second kill on the Catherine. That is a brilliant play there for Team Arden. It might even be enough for them to push into this turret, although they don't have a way to work with right now. But that Lyra is keeping them all healthy, and that turret is going down awfully quick. It is, and they're just diving in. Fisher Hunt popping his journey boots to try and get the kill back away a little bit too fast. Antonio is trying to use the Adagio and hope best he can as the Imperial Sickle does go down just to keep him healthy. Resonance Bounce is doing better but practically nothing. I mean, as soon as I see like a weapon store, it's when I go CP box, he can't do anything. Like, you just resonance so much. There's a nice silence over the wall, but again, this attack is just doing so much mid tank damage that he is incredible. This is where attack is right. And they, they, they just went in the fall. Like I said, they just should not fight. Especially with the Catherine like, at this stage of the game, where she's squishy as well. I, just don't do this. As if, if you're against Weapon Sword, just stall them out a little bit, and that's of course you're already, already winning the fights. But with yeah, the as well, that early game pressure, just don't fight. Just don't have no shame in just being a coward. Who's living to fight another day? Yeah, I think it's as you said early, uh, early actually, really early in the game before the game even started, that you need to play the passive route. You know, you let that box get a few items, get to the point where he's just doing some serious backline damage, um, and let that Adagio get to the point where he is countering and he is just doing that insane burst damage coming out, and his ult is a genuine threat. Um, at this point in time, they just people are too, like I said, are too squishy, uh, just don't have the damage to duel against something like a saw, um, or especially with that Lyra backing up. Uh, and that Tucker, like I said, he's hitting that mid-game spike. He's got a couple of items now. We've seen uh, the Aftershock come out and the Storm Crown, which is a really popular build right now. And it's just, it just deals so much damage. And why are they engaging now that they have? Um, there is the ult coming out from Antonio. It isn't going to do enough. Uh, we do see the pickups coming up across the board. And there's a triple kill for Saw. Saw now with so many kills. Now sitting at 802. And this is only at eight minutes in the game. So he's actually managed to get uh, more, uh, uh, well, a level amount of kills per minute and 10 being participating in 10 kills in only eight minutes of the game. Wow, and he's over 10 CS a minute. The, the thing is, why did they engage when they didn't have an Atlas Cauldron or a Fountain? They legit did not have a Fountain with that fight. And they engaged onto a Lyra who had a Fountain. Oh, was that a Crucible? Sorry, I can't quite, I can't quite remember. No, so they had the Fountain and the Imperial Sigil. That was just a fight you were destined to lose. People, like, aggressive players need to learn to just be patient just to wait. It's got to the point now where I'm pretty sure Saw, Attacker, and Lyra can walk into the base and just win this game. I think they know that as well. They've got meaning cannons. They need to back off. Like, as soon as you see them run, because you know Attacker's going to dive in, they're going to do, do it immediately. Delete one of the players. The Fountain is popped, I do believe. Just try and keep Fox alive. Uh, the Fountain's already used, and that could be Fox going down right now. Actually, back with Stutter Step. That could be her life. It is. Just for that one misstep, and that could be the game right there. Like I said, they need to win it in 10 minutes, and it looks like that's exactly what they're trying to do. Minion candy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, to be fair, Minion Candy push would have actually been exactly right now to just make sure they definitely Oh my god, that's so much damage. That. that saw is just a spun up saw. Oh my god, he's Heim is just on fire right now. Um, he was killing him in the base. Yeah. I didn't know you could do that. See look at um, that, they're I... gonna win it in ten minutes. Like I said, like I called it, they just had to play Patrick. They called it. Red team did everything but not do that. They did, they did everything that they shouldn't have done, and they, they and because of that, they lost. They had the counter comp. They, they could have won that if they just waited for late game. Hein doing such a massive whack of damage right now. Actually, Minx is chilling in the base to get the kill. Get oh, he healed up quite far, and now they're just going to get another kill. And that's 16-0 flawless game. 
I mean, the draft was bad, and they had a really, it's a really short, when a draft is bad, it doesn't mean it's impossible to win it, obviously. But they had such a tiny window to win this game in, and they did it in exactly 10 minutes.